everyone and welcome to another weekend vlog. So today is Saturday and obviously I normally start these vlogs on Friday and I did start the vlog yesterday but all I did was say it was the start of the vlog and then I didn't vlog for the rest of the day. So it seems pointless to add in that clip now. <laughs> so it is Saturday morning at half past ten. Um, it's been another stressful week, which I will update you on later. I've got a massive to-do list of things I've got to work through today. I've already been uh, cracking on with that this morning. Um, so yeah, I will fill you in on what's been going on this week. So this has been another very stressful week because Mr. k &N has had another bout of gastroenteritis. So... You'll have seen if you been watching the previous vlogs that he got really ill um, before and we found out it was gastroenteritis and he had a really upset tummy and had to go into the vets for a little bit and then he was fully recovered and then on Monday he went off his food again and by Tuesday he really wasn't well, little boy, again. So another trip to the vet, he didn't have to get admitted this time because we kind of knew what we were dealing with, um, but the poor boy has had to get some more antibiotics and he's had to go on bland food again, and he, um, yeah, they basically were trying to figure out what's causing it this time, because obviously having a little pup get so ill twice in a month, we've got to figure out what's causing it, so he's getting tested to see if he's got some kind of parasite in his tummy um so we've been taking poo samples all week very glamorous part of pet ownership um he's now on a super strong wormer to see if we can flush out whatever's in there and then if it doesn't turn out to be anything like that then we might have to look and see if he's got any allergies which you know see if there's any food that he's intolerant to or something like that because we obviously can't have him getting sick all the time um, he's actually loads better. I know it seems a bit, he's a bit, he's a bit <laughs> sleepy and lifeless right now, but he's been mental all morning. So he's just having a little nap. Um, uh, but yeah, he's feeling a lot better, but he had a very, very bad week again, which was super stressful, which is not what we want. And on the Dylan front, if you saw last week's vlog, you'll know that we got the bad news that he was still lame. So obviously he'd been on Danalon for just short of two weeks and we'd weaned him off of it and wanted to see if rest and Danalon had helped his lameness and he was still lame, which was really unfortunate. So he had the vet out on Monday and we trotted him up and had a wee chat about what our next plans were. So she, the vet that we use, she's she's fabulous and she said, look, he's he's better than he was, but obviously still lame. So our options were to bring him in for a workup, do some nerve blocks, potentially see if we can figure out a bit more about what's going on, or we could leave him a little bit longer and see if time worked its magic because she said she saw a big difference. Although he was still lame, he was less lame. So that was what I decided to do because at the end of the day, most um, treatments for anything that's wrong is going to be rest. So I was like, well, might as well just rest a bit longer before we start putting him through anything else, you know, blocking, workups, MRIs, things like that. Um, I decided just to rest him a bit longer first because I was just like, if we're going to rest him after all that stuff anyway, might as well just rest him, see how it goes. So he's now been resting all week um, and what we decided to do is try and decide whether him being in the stable during the day and out at night was helping. So what we're doing is this weekend he's in the field. So Yesterday he went into the field he normally goes in, a little paddock for like recovery and he's going to be in there, he was in there yesterday, in there all day today and all day tomorrow and then we're going to trot him up again and see if his lameness is worse from having been in the field all weekend or if it's the same, just to decide whether we still need to keep bringing him in like we've been doing because obviously he's been coming in for all the like daytime and then going out at night so we just want to see if that is something that was necessary and plus obviously with Mr. Poocher being ill um, it was kind of also to make things a little bit easier for me as well so it's a good time to kind of try and figure this question out while I had so much other stuff to deal with um, so that's good. Um, so Dylan won't be needing mucked out this weekend, which is a great break for me and my very sore back. Um, but that's good. So all I have to do today is nip up and give him food and another hay net. And I can do that later on today. So like I said, I've got a huge to-do list of things to do. Um, so I'm going to be working my way through that. Excuse Ewan's foot. 
so yeah that is the main plan for the next little while so our next thing is i'm going to go get some clothes on and we're going to go and drop off the poop sample to the vet because that gets one thing off my list and it means there's not a jar of poop in the house which is good um my main thing for this weekend apart from like my monster to-do list is to finish reading strange the dreamer so i am do wanting to do strange along with book browsing blog and the other um hosts and i started reading the book on monday and i was going to be filming a separate vlog for read uh, for this readathon and then obviously everything went down the toilet with the dog and he was all really not well and i just didn't have the time or the energy to read um i can't read when i'm stressed so i haven't read like hardly any of the book this week and the live show is tomorrow and it's like a 500 page book ah <gasps> so what i want to do is kind of make a, a strange long vlog this uh kind of weekend as well i'm going to try and read the book as much of it as i can anyway so i can watch the live show on sunday um so i'll bring you along as i do that um so that is going to be the most of this weekend is going to be completing as much as i can off my monster to-do list and reading strange the dreamer so i will bring you along with that and let's just see how much i actually get done hello it's time for another update so it is now three o'clock or thereabouts can't quite see the clock and we're heading up to feed dylan so dylan's in the field i can't remember if i said this in the last uh clip dylan's in the field um for the next three days this is the second of the three days to see if his lameness gets any worse while he's out full time and so we're going to have to feed him give him another hay net um and obviously kind of walk the dog at the same time is the plan so yeah, that's what we're doing. This morning, I've been bashing through my to-do list. I've gotten most of it done. So to be honest, Dylan and the dog walk are the last two kind of things I really need to get done today. Um, the other stuff, I've moved a few things on to tomorrow. I just don't want to spend my entire day doing boring stuff and then not actually getting around to reading, which is what I always do. So I haven't actually read any of Strange the Dreamer today yet so far, but that's the plan once I get back from Dylan. Um, I've been listening to a new audiobook. So early, was it in last week's vlog? I can't remember. It might have been. Um, I was listening to Kill Me Again by Rachel Abbott. And I said to Ewan that I thought he'd really like... The fuck? There's a there's an inflatable minion. That's that's my face and the the fuck. <laughs> there's an inflatable minion wandering around Aberdeen. How strange. Anywho... There was no words for that. <clears throat> so I so said to Ewan that I thought he would really like the series that I was reading. Um, and so we decided to go back to the start and kind of buddy read it. So um, we're doing that. So we've already read the first one, which is Only the Innocent. And now we're on to the second one, which is The Back Road. Um, and the one I had read previously was like number five. So, I mean, I'll just listen to that one again and it won't be like, it obviously won't be fresh in my mind kind of thing. But um, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, I've probably forgotten it by then because I forget everything. Um, so yeah, we're buddy reading that series again. Uh, but, but we're buddy reading that series together at the minute. Um, so that's kind of the audiobook, audiobook situation. And yeah, I will catch up with you once we get back to the yard. This is what Kanan does when we're in the car and Ewan's driving. He literally perches his little head on Ewan's shoulder and does this so cute little... Oh, he's just so sweet. Look at that little face. But yeah. He doesn't do this to me. This is a this is a dad only thing. Too short. I think yeah, Ewan thinks I'm too short for him to do it. Which admittedly my shoulder is a lot further down than Ewan's, but yeah, he likes to put his little head on dad. Are you shy? Are you shy? That was just a bit of a cute inter interruption there. Off you go, mister. Have fun. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like I want to watch Rages. <laughs> hey there, much later on again today, just done for a little update. So the plan was to read when I got home, but I actually ended up with a migraine. So I lay on the couch and suffered for a good couple of hours. Um, thankfully that has now cleared. Um, so I'm now going to finally get into Strange the Dreamer. 
um, for people who don't know what this book's about, although I imagine most people know what it's about by now, it's been around a while. Um, it's about Laszlo Strange and how he is obsessed with finding kind of the city of Weep and the mysteries that um, surround the lost city or the hidden city. Um, so yeah, I am going to be reading this as part of Strange Along. The live show for this book is tomorrow. The book's a chonker and I'm there. <laughs> I have a lot of reading to do. So let's hope that no more headaches get in the way and I'm going to get stuck in right now. been a productive uh, evening of reading finally um, between dog finally going to sleep and with me sitting down to read without distractions so I'm almost a hundred pages in um, I would have liked to get another hundred pages read before I go to bed but I don't know how likely that is but I'm gonna do my best but I've finished part one um, I'm not sure how many parts the book is split into but I'm finished part one um, and I'm loving it so far. It's so good. I love the way it's written. It's very rich and atmospheric. And I love Laszlo. He's a great character. Um, I felt so much anger on his behalf because of what Theon, I think is how you say it, Theon did it to, did to him. Um, and I'm so glad that things have worked out the way they have at the end of part one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue reading, um, like I say, very much enjoying, so I'm going to continue reading and I will update you in the morning, I probably won't check in again tonight, so I will let you know um, tomorrow how far I get through the book, um, but time to go to sleep, bye. Good morning everyone, it is now Sunday morning and it must be about, oh I can see the clock there, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's 10 to 9 on Sunday. And we've kind of gone up this morning. It's been super productive so far. So we've gone up this morning and it's been super productive so far. And you've done all the dishes and I've had a little spruce around the flat. I've started to clear out the guinea pig run, although I got distracted midway through by the dog and the pee. But I can continue doing that later. So already ticked up, ticked off a couple of things off my to-do list today, which is ace. Um, I've got a few bits and bobs I need to do. I need to do some editing and I need to read more of Strange to Dreamer and I need to um, do some stuff for Riding Club as well. So um, I've got a few bits and bobs to get on with. So I think I'll start off by doing a little bit of editing and getting that stuff out of the way and then I can settle down to read. We need to walk the dog but currently this is Pooch. So while he's settled we're just going to leave him settled. We'll uh, take him out for his first walk of the day once he decides to have a bit more uh, energy to go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get stuck into my editing and I will catch up with you Order. in a little bit. So that's us heading up to the yard to sort out Dylan. It's about just after two. So we're gonna go and get him settled for the night and also have a little peek at his trot up to see if uh, the weekend in the field has done any difference, has made it any worse or anything like that. So that's what we're waiting to do now. And then I've got to come back and really knuckle down with Strange Along read reading because I'm still only about a hundred odd pages into Strange the Dreamer. Hey there, so it's much later on in the day now. Um, I can't remember when my last update was, um, but we went up to the yard and sorted out Dylan for the day, um, trotted him up. So he has not gotten any worse lameness wise from being in the field for a few days as opposed to coming in. So he will be staying out for the time being and seeing if he continues to recover on field rest instead of partial box rest. So he will be much happier doing that. So that is a good thing for the day. Um, Kanan um, is definitely fully recovered from his last little bug because he's been full of beans today and driving us both bonkers. 
and really getting in the way of a lot of reading but I have finally finished um, Strange the Dreamer and it is an amazing book and I am off to go and watch the live show and so I will catch you in another vlog next week. Bye!